Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use BitGet Wallet app. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So how do we actually get or start using BitGet Wallet app here? Well, the answer to that is actually pretty easy and you can install it on your device. In this case, first we need to do is we need to install the app itself. In this case, go ahead and open up Google Play Store here. Just type in the following, which is going to be BitGet. Uh, click on search. And from here, you should be able to see the app itself. In this case, you need to install it. So for example, let's just wait for it to fully load up. So in this case, as you can see, we now have BitGet, Bitcoin, and CryptoTrade. In this case, open it up and install it in your device. Now, this might take a few seconds or a few minutes. So in this case, just wait for it to complete installing. But once the installation is complete, all you need to do is you just need to exit it and look for the app itself. And from here, let's go and open it up. Now, there's going to be a bunch of things that you could do in the BitGet app. Now, like any other crypto uh, apps or wallets they have, there are going to be a bunch of things that you could do here. Like, for example, in the homepage, you'll be able to uh, basically view a few things like, for example, rewards, invite gifts, pre-market, trade, trade mining, and a lot more. Now, there's also a promo here, which in this case, sign up to get 1,000 USD now. So this is for you new users only. Now, by the way, at the top right, you should be able to see your notifications, even uh, contact support if you want to. And if you want to scan a QR code, you can use the QR scanner here, but you first need to sign up. But before we sign up, we want to visit a few things here. Like for example, markets. Markets is a page or a section in BitGet wherein you'll be able to view the market. Like for example, if you want to uh, see the relationship of BTC and USDT, you can just click on it. And as you can see, this is how the price is converted. As you can see, we have the chart. So there's going to be the amount that we have right now. We have data, any news about BTC and USDT here, and the about section if you want to read into it. In this case, let's go ahead and go back. Now we also have the trade option here, which in this case, you'll be able to uh, basically uh, trade via your spot, margin, convert, and bots here. You can even either buy or sell uh, crypto. You can either use limit order and a lot more. Now we also have futures here, which in this case is going to be a lot more advanced version of trading. So in this case, you'll be able to uh, try trying on predicting what the price of a specific crypto is going to be but in this case you need to go to assets now we want to create our account here so in this case if you already have an account you can just immediately log in just enter your email and your password here and just click on log in but if you want to sign up just click on sign up and you need to enter the email and password you want to use but since I already have a Google account here that I want to use for my Bitcoin account, I just I could just basically click on the Google icon that you see at the bottom of your screen. You could also use your other accounts like Apple and Telegram if you want to use that. But for now, let's go and choose our email here. Now, in this case, let's just wait for it to load up properly. Now, once it actually load up, it's going to ask you to complete a specific type of uh, formatting here. So in this case, uh, we want to uh, complete the captcha here. So let's just follow the uh, rec recommended here. Let's just uh, type in an order, click on OK, and from here, verification success. Now from here, we need to uh, basically uh, wait for the verification mobile here. So in this case, let's just wait for it and enter it into our screen here. Now, once you've able to create your account or you were able to log in, this is what you'll be able to see on your screen. Now, in this case, you should be able to see the overview, spot, margin, future, bots, funding, and earn in the assets section. Now, in the overview, you should be able to view the overview details or the overview uh, funds that you have on your account. So we have a BTC here. So current uh, the total balance on my account is currently zero since I don't have any crypto as of this moment. But you can change that to either USDT, AUD, or more. Now we also have the section here that says your safety, uh, asset safety. So if you want to uh, basically get proof of reserves, view your audit, or the 300 million bit get protection fund in here. Now, in this case, when you go to spot here, which is your default wallet, you should be able to see your 
cryptocurrencies. Like if, for example, you have BTC, USDT, ETH, IOST, LTC, and a lot more. Now, if you want to view further details regarding those uh, crypto, you can just go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, you'll have the uh, capability of viewing the available funds, the reserve, the frozen, the locked, and copy trading here. Now, if you want to buy BTC, you can just go ahead and click on buy here. And from here, you'll just need to uh, use API Meta. So you have the cre uh, credit, debit card, P2P trading, and the third party payment. If you choose credit and debit here, you'll be able to indicate how much you want to buy. So for example, I'm just going to indicate 100 USD here. And from here, we want to choose our coin. So for example, let's just choose BTC here. And from here, you could go ahead and just click, click on buy BTC. Now from here, it's going to give you some information that you need to provide. Like for example, ID verification, bind your email, or bind your mobile. Now in this case, once you've completed the security measures here, what you need to do next is you just need to fill out the payment method that you'll be using. So since we chosen credit and debit card here, you'll need to provide your um, details regarding that card for you to proceed with the payment itself. Now, if you're going to choose other options here like P2P trading, which is a great way for you to buy uh, crypto from the same platform from different people that actually has uh, that specific type of crypto in their wallet. So in this case, you'll be uh, trading with people. So peer-to-peer. Uh, -peer. So that's what P2P trading actually means. Now, if you choose third-party payment here, you'll be able to choose from the available uh, third-party here. So we have Visa, MasterCard, Google Pay, Discover, Theaters Club, mobile money or Momo. Now the option or the third party option here would actually depend on where you're currently located. So sometimes it's actually different uh, for different users. So depending on where you're currently living or where you're currently at. Now in this case, if you want to transfer your crypto, you can just click on transfer here and indicate the from sections. And like for example, it's if it's going from your spot wallet and you want to actually uh, transfer it into your, let's just say, into your funding wallet, you can go ahead and do that and choose a cryptocurrency here. And also, you want to also enter the transfer amount. Now, you might be wondering, why do we have a different wallets here? We have a spot wallet, we have a funding wallet. Well, actually, the spot wallet would actually contain the crypto that you already have in your account. Well, funding wallet could actually uh, contain uh, your funding. So whenever you're actually doing peer-to-peer -peer transfers, this is where you'll be able to actually get your uh, funds from. Now, also, we have the sell here, which gives you the capability from the uh, word itself, sell cryptocurrency. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and just sell it. Like for example, if you want to sell it to, to a specific uh, user, you could just sell them for around 1.45 uh, Australian dollars here if you want to prefer that. Now, the price itself may vary from person to person here, but yeah. So in this case, let's go ahead and go back in here and view the other stuff that we could actually view. Now, also, there's a quick withdraw and deposit buttons at the very bottom here. So if you want to withdraw or deposit, that's where you'll be to, you'll be able to do it. Now, also, if you're going to go to trade here, as you can see, the other options will now be available to us. So for example, indicating the quantity they want to sell. Like, for example, by default, we are going to be in the buy here. So you'll be able to indicate how much you want to buy, the total USD that you want to buy, uh, spend on a specific crypto. So for example, I want to spend like 100 uh, USDT here. And if you want to proceed, you could just go ahead and click on buy BTC. And from here, it's going to say order confirmation. Now, for any transactions that you'll be doing on the trade section, you'll be able to actually place order. So whenever a specific, like for example, uh, BTC reach a specific price, like for example, we have the buy price here. So whenever BTC actually reach a 6274.9.7, uh, your account here will automatically buy that uh, crypto on that specific price. In this case, uh, it guarantees that you'll be able to get your crypto. So yeah, as, as we all know, uh, crypto is highly volatile. It changes are very, very rapidly. That's why order uh, orders here are really important and order confirmations are really needed. In this case, if you really want to buy it, just click on confirm. Same thing for sell. It has the same logic into it. So if you want to click on sell BTC here, you need to uh, first indicate how much you want to buy. So I'll sell BTC here. You first have to uh, proceed with the order confirmation here. Just can confirm and you should be able to sell your BTC on that specific price.
but yeah you can also change this uh, you could also change the crypto itself so you could click on the uh, co the actual currency or cryptocurrency here which is btc usdt you can actually choose from the other ones like we have eth so usdt dog xrp usdt and uh, arb now you might be wondering why is the usdt here is also uh, is always besides btc well usdt here is actually a type of stable coin so it's actually uh quite close to your price of us dollars so that's why it's called usdt so stable coins are a great way for you to um determine how much a cryptocurrency actually would cost like for example we have a uh, the closest currency that we have on an actual um currency now in this case um you should be able to determine how much you uh, want to buy or what cryptocurrency in this list here so yeah so in this case if you want to switch over to eth just click on it and you'll be able to see this section here but yeah so those are the uh tips that we could give you whenever you're starting up with a uh, big get wallet app here and that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video